Time to good. put this squat down lower. I gotta bang all this in right here. Look at, dang, look at that fold right there somebody already did. I gotta bend that straight, smack this in, everything that's rubbing oh, yeah. right here, especially this part, so I can actually sit down in here perfectly with the wheels on. Yeah, just a little massage, that's all I'm doing. Just a little massage. But you can see right here, I've just been rolling the car back and forward. You can see exact spots where this tire is hitting. So up here, I need to smack it, all right here. Got the noodle arm. <laughs> hey, if I had the lard, lard hammer, this isn't easy. It's be difficult. Yeah, what's gonna be messed up about it is this video might be shaky. Why? I did it with one arm, fool. Alright, good. So today, what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be installing the e-brake cables, drive shaft, and hopefully the mid pipe, the rubber bumper stopper. And stop it from smacking, the fuel door smacking on the belt. So I'm gonna be doing that today. Already got the lines in on the rear end and hopefully we can do something else. All right, for those of you that don't know, which I didn't know at the time, the 93 Cobra e-brake cables are totally different from the 79 through 92. Uh, they're shorter, they're never gonna work, they're never gonna mount. They're cheaper, but they'll never mount. All right, so order the 79 through 92 rear e-brake cables. Uh, they're about $40 each, not too bad, a little expensive, but you'll be able to use your e-brake unlike some people. So instead of putting your car in gear, you'll be able to rip that thing up and you'll be good to go. So 79 through 92 rear disc brake conversion on late models, you know what I'm saying, $40 each. Go ahead and cop it. Look at the old one, look how janky this stuff is. Oh, dang. This is how old and brittle it is. I popped it out from the back and look at this already falling apart. Look at that. Yeah. So listen how it closes. This is without those, this is just one. If you have them both missing, it's a little rough. See that? And look at it, it doesn't level it out. So, showing the body. Not as loud. Still loud. Crushed my finger, boy. Slammed it in there. But they're on. Oh my goodness. All right, everything's out. It's crazy because it, it looks like this is nothing. The spring isolators for the rear and the front. And then we got some bolts or screws for the interior panels. And more receipts, uh, clamps, exhaust hangers. Uh, what isolators I think it is? Uh, more clamps, got extra push rods, more clamps, empty. Oh, we got a boot and then the headlight thing. Check this out. Got the new ground wire with the terminals and then I got the brake proportion valve, fuel pressure gauge. I was about to get to say gauge cluster. Uh, fuel pressure gauge. Hey, I found these too. I didn't even have to go to AutoZone. You know what I'm saying? I found these in the car. I guess I bought those a while ago. So I got new spark plugs. These are the, the live wires that I bought. This is the ignition coil bracket. With the screaming demon, baby, you know what it is. We got the oil filter. We got the um, the brake hose brackets for the front. These are the rear brake lines, the, braided, the steel braided lines. The upper rear end bushing. Oh, and not a lot of people know about this, but this people will save your life. This is the horn. The horn, uh, 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 I would say bushing or something like that. But here's the part number. This is for the 87, well, obviously right there, 87 through 89. Uh, when your horn doesn't work, when somebody has it unplugged, more than likely it's because of this. They unplugged it because if you plug it back in, your horn will just probably stay on. Or if you hit it once, it'll just stay on like, yeah. So replacing this will fix that problem. I've done like three of those already on 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 uh, a few cars. I got the door locks and this ignition lock cylinder. Yeah, baby, brand new. All that. Oh, and then this. This is the fan controller. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that in today. I'm gonna try to get all this stuff in today, but we'll see how far we can get with this, and we'll see where we're at by the end of the video. Another thing I find. Look at this. Isn't this just beautiful? I find new things on this thing every day. I noticed that the tape was very brittle and it was stuck to the wires. I'll pull them apart. This is all chewed up. Maybe a rat got to it. I don't know. I think it goes worse, worse. These definitely were for sure getting hot 
and melting to each other. To, uh, to each other. So I just separated all four of these and it was bad. So I might either cut these, splice these and redo them or I might just buy a whole new harness because it looks like trash. And also look at this. What is this? Look at this. This is homemade. I don't know. Whoever had this car, if they do ever find these videos, if they ever do, please. I ain't even trying to be rude. Do not ever touch a car again. This car would have probably, this car would have caught in fire if anybody would have started it. This car would have never worked for brakes. This car would have never started. I don't, I don't even know. I'm just venting. But I replaced everything on this car, literally. The only thing that I haven't replaced are the gas lines but the reason why i haven't replaced those is because that's like five hundred dollars four four five hundred dollars on just the gas lines it's it's just adding up it's just too much man this is just way too much first it was that the frame rail you got the fender aprons all ripped up the wiring's all hot and sh this is cooked that's done you got the back harness which is worse than all of them then on top of that this freaking crap was just all drenched in the inside. Like the inside was nasty. The inside was terrible. I replaced the dashboard. I replaced the quarter panels because the quarter panels were off of a 90. I replaced, I'm replacing the back bench seats because they're out of a 90. I'm replacing everything. They even try to put the bar from the 90, the back bench seat, the bottom, which has that rail that goes up and over to where you, you're, you can hook the seat on. They even try to put that on and then took out the actual belt buckle. The dash harness was chewed up that was the wires were split everywhere like there was not a wire on there that hasn't been cut and added on to that was trashed i'm not, i'm gonna replace the steering wheel because the steering wheel is trashed only thing that was good on the car is the outside of the car that's the only thing anywho let's get started before i freaking <sighs> stressful this is very stressful man and i know rusted do i care not at all does it work? Of course it does. Is it new? Of course not. But it's gonna work. It's pressed in there perfectly fine. I think these are moves. But we're gonna we're gonna yank in this. I gotta tighten these up before I forget. You gotta tighten these up. Let's get this started. Let's lock everything in, man. Let's feel better. Let's do something. Alright, going underneath the car. Got it up. Look at it. Look at how old and dusty this looks. Look at how new this looks. God dang. Ooh, yeah, baby. Time to throw this drive shaft. Then the exhaust and it up. Oh, so got a problem. Drive shaft won't even go here. Won't go close. Why? I moved the motor back onto that mount. So now I'm gonna have to lift it up and slide it forward. Undo all this stuff again. Undo the cross member, undo the motor mounts. It's not too much, it's just lift and, and pull, pull forward. Gotta redo that, so now I'm not gonna put up the exhaust tonight. I'm gonna just call it a night again. Got it up, move the motor back. Now it fits like a glove. All right, so I guess I'm gonna do everything for spark. So I'm gonna do the ignition coil, spark plugs, spark plug wires, and uh, hopefully the distributor. So let's get to it, baby. <clears throat> the spark plugs on and this ignition coil on. I gotta do an oil change, put this thing on hold, and get back to it another day, again. or actually tomorrow or Friday. All right, last thing before I gotta do the oil change, I'm gonna do the valve covers. These are the bolts that TripFlow gives you, which I don't get, this car just attracts water or something, because this is bad. I had this sitting in here for like a, like a month or two, and this is nasty. I highly recommend that you guys upgrade on that. Uh, trick flow, if you guys ever see this video. Also, the nuts for the upper intake are rusted too as well. Everything else is straight. The ARP bolts are fine. Those are those are brand new, pretty much. And those went on before these bolts even went on. So I had to go get some new ones from a, a local hardware store. And uh, now it's gonna be looking funky because these are chrome and I wanted black to hide the bolts, but gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. And now I gotta clean up this rust right here because of this bolt was the worst out of all of them. Ah, <sighs> man, gotta get on it. Back at the yard again, just to get some goddamn spindles for me and Bug, you know what I'm saying? They don't allow jacks in here, so we're gonna see how we're gonna get this spring out. Maybe it's gonna explode and hit this or hit Bug's leg. Okay. We'll find out though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we kind of ran into a problem. Somebody jacked this side and left this side. So they got the passenger side, which is very weird. I think it's because they couldn't get the bolt on the bottom, but I don't know. We'll see, we'll find out. Uh, That's the same one, same thing on the white one, but instead of the passenger side, they did the 
they left the driver's side and did the passenger side so let's yank it boy so here's the driver's side of the white one and here's the passenger side so the driver's side is a little tough a little rough but it ain't nothing we can't handle you know what i'm saying right tools right machinery you got it oh yeah look at that look at that Ben boy let's get out of here for that explode me and Trav just got this out you just need two men you know what i'm saying a sludge hammer and a 3 8 extension boy somebody hold it from up top don't let that hit the ground don't let the shaft hit the ground smack it through baby we got that homie look at this it made a little square imprint but we don't need it though so it doesn't matter got these two spindles again book spindles got the steering wheel i need to go find some bolts for the k-member now oh yeah huh yeah I have. last parts delivery oh baby this is the last and the final I think so. Time to pull this in, baby. Look at look at my little roller. Yeah. <laughs> Check it out. What's up? Ah, ah, damn. Ah, oh, damn. Oh. Now it's gonna have to come tumbling. Ah. Let's go, baby. All right. So I'm practicing the flaring. Just bought this kit from Amazon, combined double flaring, check out what it comes with, the little deburr, whatever it is, deburring tool. That works miracles. This kit works miracles. I recommend you getting this only because I've been sitting here practicing on the flares. All right, this is the factory one that comes from the uh, the classic tube. This is the one right here, double flared. It makes it, looks pretty, looks great, looks good. Uh, but I mean, the center looks all squared up. This is the one I did today. I'm missing the five, I don't have the five. I need to get the five instead of the 316s or 475, which I mean, it'll work, but I mean, it is a little tight. So it kind of crunches it a little bit. It didn't do any damage. I already checked in the hole, didn't squash it, but here's mine. So did it did pretty good. Oh, and I, the other kit that I bought, it came with a little bit of lubricant, so just lube up everything and it'll flare it out perfectly for you. When I took the other ones to the shop, it was actually these ones. He actually did this one right here. So mine came out a little bit better than his. Look at that. I'm better than shops? What? Look at a little musket. <laughs> but I'm gonna do it a few more times before I start doing it on the car because I gotta get the, uh, the brake proportion valve line the one that goes to the brake proportion valve i gotta get that squared away and i gotta get that flared so i'm gonna give a few more tries practice trials to actually finish this so i can get onto the actual car because i don't want to you know i don't want to fuck nothing up you know what i'm saying so let me keep on practicing i'm gonna show you guys my craft second attempt and it looks like a success let me just clean this off a little bit there it is look at that double flare it baby gotta bend it up flare this and be done there it is that is on it looks great it looks stock looks original let me give it a little wipe mm. clean all the lubricant stuff off you how smooth that is that's that's the one i did now this is the original and, it, and you see how it kind of looks like somebody pushed a circle like not flared circle and just boom punched it pretty much that's what it kind of looks like but hey 70 bucks you can get your own tool you can do your own brake lines <laughs> I was so happy, homie. I'm so proud of myself. I'm so happy. Look at that. Look at that. Kind of kept it original with the original look. Kind of. But then it didn't really work. Still kind of like bent, but I'm not even tripping. That's perfect. It's beautiful. Laid it out. Amazing. And it's in. It is in. Locked and loaded. No more anything. I am officially done with the brake lines, baby. I am done with everything done with the rear i'm done with the front i'm done with the side i'm done with the round i'm done with everything baby you know what i'm saying <sighs> so, much, so much so much the whole brake system is done now now time to actually hook up the the rotors and calipers and we'll see if these motherfuckers work boy <laughs> if you do end up using your own and doing your own thing doing your own stuff it's always good to know so i'm glad i did this i'm glad i learned i'm glad i bought the tool only because I got a little nervous on doing it only because I messed up on the first set. The AutoZone double flaring kit that I used, um, that one kind of messed everything up. I did a good job on one and all of a sudden all the rest were just looking like little musket guns, the little flare out like that. So after that happened, 
I ended up saying F it. I took it to a shop, paid 40. I was gonna pay 45 bucks, but he ended up uh, breaking his tool and giving it back to me, gave it to me for free. Kind of looked a little janky. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just order new lines. So I ordered the kit that's for the rear, uh, for discs in the rear for the Fox bodies. I ordered that kit that was like, another 60 or 70 bucks or something like that so and also you can practice on whatever lines that you got um yeah just practice practice makes perfect got that so in the future once once i do end up getting another set of brake lines i can actually get my own set start bending my own set around and actually flaring it myself so i'm glad i got it i'm happy with it i'm very proud of myself for actually doing this little small thing today because it was just it was bugging me for a while so i'm glad i got it done so in the future We'll be doing this again we'll be we'll be good to go and uh you'll see you later on in the future you know what i'm saying